morning welcome to another weekly reading vlog i'm starting this one kind of late because i have had a rough few days i talked about it in my last vlog but i went off my anxiety meds and withdrawal symptoms wow did not expect i've been lightheaded i've had heart palpitations i've had an upset tummy i'm also breaking out which never happens to me i've been very fortunate but i don't know what's happening and i've just been feeling really weird but at least i'm not anxious <laughs> but anyway i was supposed to be doing a read with me vlog for king of scars by lee bardugo but i've decided not to do that so i'm really sorry if you were looking forward to that but i was just not well and i'm already more than halfway through the book now and i just i just really haven't been in the mood so i'm really sorry but let's go over my tbr for this week and then i want to tell you about some things that have really pissed me off this week Okay, so first obviously is King of Scars. I'm just over halfway through now. The beginning was really slow and I honestly only cared about Nina, but it's really picking up now. Weird things are happening and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm hoping to finish that in the next couple of days, but it's already Wednesday and we're running out of time. So my other two priorities for this week are to reread The Cruel Prince and then finally read The Wicked King. These are my goals this week. Hopefully we can do it because the contemporary -a -thon starts next week. So I need to read books for that. But anyway, I want to tell you why I'm really pissed off. There's a few reasons. I have been trying to get a hardcover copy of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers in this edition because it is in my top five favorite books of all time and I just really want a hardcover so badly but because they're out of print they're selling for like $300 a book so I thought I had finally found a deal I saw it it said hardcover from Germany for $50 and I was like is this the day so I ordered it and uh, this came so I paid $50 for a freaking paperback of a book I already own. Not only that, they expect me to pay to return this book all the way to freaking Germany so I can get my money back. I'm really annoyed about that. Like, is this some sort of scam? I'm also really angry because I reread The Hate You Give last week because I thought the movie was finally coming to Australian cinemas. But I live in the third most popular city in Australia and it wasn't showing in any cinemas near me. And so I had another look today. It turns out it's showing at two cinemas, but two like really random obscure cinemas. You'd think a popular movie like The Hate You Give would at least show in like the Brisbane CBD cinema, but no, at least it is showing in Australia, but I just have to go to some weird cinemas that I never go to. I'm also pissed off because I can't function like a human this week because I've been so out of whack. I was supposed to go to work, I was supposed to get things done, I was supposed to clean the house, and instead I've been sleeping and lying in bed being all like loopy. But like I said, at least I'm not anxious. So anyway, today's plans, I'm actually going to venture out of the house for the first time in like five days. I'm going to my best friend Brittany's house we are finally going to exchange Christmas presents because I went to Korea in January and then she went to Bangladesh and Malaysia and Singapore for a friend's wedding and we just haven't had the opportunity to see each other since Christmas. So I'm going to go see her and I'm going to take Luna because Luna and her dog are best friends even though, I'm sorry if she's watching this but I hate her dog so much. <laughs> Her dog is like my most hated dog in existence. It is literally Satan in a dog, I'm just saying. But they're best friends and I respect that and I'm best friends with Brittany so I respect that. But anyway, we're gonna go now and I'm gonna try not to pass out. So, it's gonna be good. A few moments later. Holy moly, I take it all back. I feel so sick, oh my god. I feel like if I stand up, I am going to pass out and I'm so hungry but i feel like i'm gonna throw up so i don't want to eat anything i just really don't feel well uh. okay it is many hours later today has been horrible <laughs> tmi but i've spent many hours on the toilet i've spent many hours with my head in a bucket and i've just it's just not been a fun time but i did finish this book so I ended up getting the audiobook and I listened to the second half of it on audio because 
I don't know, I was just like too lightheaded and like sick to read physically. So that's why half of this book has tabs and half of it doesn't. But holy moly, I loved this. I don't think I can give it a full five stars because the start was really slow. But that second half and that ending and my babies oh my goodness i really grew to like zoya and by the end i loved her i was never a huge fan of her character but now i am and nina oh so much of this book is so emotional and heartbreaking and oh man it was just so good i think i'm giving it a 4.5 stars. I was really worried because I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it on Goodreads. A lot of people are rating it like 3 stars but I really really loved it and I'm such a freaking idiot you guys. So I sold my Grisha Trilogy box set and I totally regret it so I ordered it again. I have this problem a lot so I think I need to stop getting rid of books like as soon as I finish reading them because I I want to reread the Grissa trilogy now and I got rid of the books so <laughs> anyway yeah it was awesome loved it and now it is time to start my reread of The Cruel Prince and I am feeling a little bit better so I am going to read this physically but I do have the audiobook out from my library just in case but I really want to read this one physically so I'm gonna do that um, I'm really in the mood to read right now. Maybe I can read this and The Wicked King tonight. Who knows? But yeah, I'm really excited. Also, I was talking to my friend on Twitter and we want to do like a belated our creatorthon because we both can't really do it on the set days. And I got out all of my unread Alcrate books and I did not realize how many I had. I have 12 unread Alcrate books and that is so bad. So I do really want to get to a lot of those and a readathon would really help to do that and one of them is Pride by Ibby's a Boy so I might try and fit that in for the contemporary -athon next week because the audiobook is on Scribd so I might be able to get that one out of the way but yeah I'm gonna go and I'm gonna read and hopefully I will continue to keep feeling better because today's been rough. Wow you can tell I just woke up. So it's actually been a couple of days and I said that I hoped I would start feeling better and I started feeling 10 times worse. I think I know what happened. I think I drank soy milk that had been like left too long. You know how when you open like cartons of soy milk they say to consume it within three days? I think this was sitting there for like at least a week. So I think that's why I got like really really sick and I'm still like really really sick and I went to the doctor turns out I also have this like weird bacterial infection so I'm also on antibiotics for those and she said that they're gonna give me really bad nausea and I'm like this is just my life now so the last few days have been really hard because I just I feel terrible I've just ordered some McDonald's which probably sounds like a terrible thing to eat in this situation but I was talking to my friend and she's like you need to eat McDonald's fries because they're deep fried they have no germs and they're really salty and salt can be really good for you and honestly I feel like I could probably keep some fries down but I also ordered an egg McMuffin as well we'll see how that goes i really don't want to vomit again but anyway um reading update i have not read as much as i thought i would just because i got too sick okay i'm on chapter 14 page 128 so i am like a quarter of the way through ish and I'm having much the same feelings as last time i read this unfortunately i just I feel like it's really average. Even though like so much of the world is described, I struggle to picture it in my head so that might be me, like a me problem, not a book problem. And I just feel like the chapters end like really randomly and abruptly and it's like it feels like a fanfic sometimes. I really don't know how to explain that any better but like I don't know just like really corny last lines of chapters like however horrible Cardin might be. I now see what he might become, and am truly afraid. 
it just feels fan fiction-y sometimes. So yeah, it is starting to pick up and get more interesting, but I actually have two packages here. I already opened one of them, but I got this one while I was napping. So let's do this thing. So this first one is from Pan Macmillan and it is one that I requested and it is The Secret Runners of New York by Matthew Riley and this is way shorter than I was anticipating because usually Matthew Riley's books are so long. If I didn't feel like crap I would go over and get like the two other books that I have on my shelves by him but they are like 800 pages long. <laughs> so yes yeah, so this is an arc. This is coming out on the 26th of March. Um, I don't know if it's coming out in any other countries because he's an Australian author. But all I know is this is about tra time travellers. So <coughs> his books are often like really action adventure -y. And the last one that I read and loved was The Great Zoo of China, um, which was basically Jurassic Park but with dragons. So high hopes for this. This one I'm excited about. It should be a pre-order, so let's open it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Um, she wrote The Hate You Give. And this is about a character called Bree who wants to be a rapper. And we actually met this character in The Hate You Give very briefly. Like, I feel like some people might not have even picked up on it, but we do meet her. Angie Thomas is one of those authors that I really don't care what she writes. I'm just going to read it anyway. The spine is white, which would look really nice next to The Hate You Give because they have like the same font and style and everything. And underneath the book is just plain black. So yeah, really excited for this. Planning on reading it for the Contemporary Thon, but I don't know how the Contemporary Thon is gonna go for me. I don't, I really, honestly, I don't know how my whole reading and booktube life is gonna go for me over the next few weeks. Like, I can guarantee now that there won't be two extra videos on my channel this week. Usually, I post three times a week, and one of them is a reading vlog. And the other two are like random videos, but I just, I cannot film right now. So I posted on Twitter this morning that I might take like a semi-hiatus. So if I don't respond to you, I'm really sorry. I just don't have energy right now to do anything. So yeah, I'm really sorry you like tried to contact me or comment on a video or something and I haven't responded. I'm really sorry. Just not having the best time at the moment. Also, I got a new Starbucks cup and it's really cute. This is like an early Valentine's Day present from Lucas. Isn't it pretty? Okay, my food's about to arrive, so I'm gonna try and not throw up and catch up with you later. Guys, I've made a great error. My life is about to change and books are not going to be read. The next day. Good morning. We are in the same spot I've been in all week, but the week is over. So it is time to wrap up what I read and give y'all a little update before I start my next reading vlog because it's contemporary a -thon today, so I gotta start a new reading vlog for that. Okay, I'll give you the life update first. And if I'm whispering, I'm sorry, it's because it's 7 a.m. and I don't wanna wake anyone up. But I'm still hecka sick. I'm a little better than I was, like I can actually keep food down sometimes but I still feel like absolute crap so oh my god another thing <laughs> my mum texted me and she was like so a little birdie tells me that you're pregnant and I'm like um no definitely not and then she's like oh I saw a psychic and she said that either you or your sister would be pregnant within the next month and I'm like <laughs> so she called my sister Turns out my sister is not pregnant and is not really planning to get pregnant. And I'm like, shit. But it did come true on The Sims. Yesterday, Lucas and I proudly welcomed three babies into the world. Two boys and a girl. And we are pregnant again with our fourth child. It's very exciting. Anyway, symptoms updates. I've become anxious, which sucks. <laughs> I think that mainly has to do with the fact that I'm sick. And I hate when I get sick because... I, it makes me anxious because I can't control my body and that freaks me out especially when it's like a vomiting diarrhea situation and I can't like control what's coming out of my body freaks me out also I just feel really sick and I've developed this new horrible symptom where when I'm falling asleep I will stop breathing 
and I'll just jolt myself awake and like gasp for air which is fun so I googled that turns out it can be like a stress or anxiety thing or it can be sleep apnea so who knows going to the doctor this week to find out basically I just have a ton of issues and I just can't wait till these freaking antibiotics are done I have another like week and a half with them hopefully when that goes away all of my other symptoms will go away including all of my withdrawal symptoms because now I can't like separate the two like what is a withdrawal symptom and what is from the antibiotics I don't know so hopefully I'll be better soon but for now I'm dying I'm sorry that there's like no content on my channel but that's just the way it is okay moving on books I read I read two books and a novella which is not as much as I was hoping but that's just the theme at the moment. So first I finished King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Loved it. Gave it 4.5 stars. Some people say they really hate the ending, but I'm really surprised. I thought people who like love the Grisha trilogy, I thought would really love this ending, but I guess not many people love the Grisha trilogy. I mean like same. But I am excited for where this is gonna go. Without spoiling anything, there you go. Then I finished my reread of The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And I was mentioning that I wasn't really enjoying it and then the second half I started really enjoying it and that is honestly because of that like hateful lustful romance between Cardin and Jude like I am so down for that I literally I have two tabs marked in this entire book one of them is when Cardin is making out with someone else and he's just like staring into Jude's eyes and I'm like why is that so hot and the second one page 307 he leans in and closes his eyes most of all I hate you because I think of you often. It's disgusting and I can't stop. <laughs> Basically, my review of this on Goodreads is that if they don't hate Bang in the next book, I am suing. So, hmm. Then I read The Lost Sisters, which is the like 1.5 novella in that series, and it is totally pointless. It's basically just like a letter from Taryn to Jude explaining why she was a shitty sister, and it was kind of a waste of time and kind of a waste of $3.99. That rhymed. So I gave that two stars. We got 4.5 stars, four stars, two stars. And I started The Wicked King, but I only got to page 20 because I downloaded The Sims yesterday, and like I said, huge mistake. But like, I kind of don't regret it. Anyway, I'm gonna have to put this on hold because contemporary fun. So I guess that is where I'll end this vlog. I'm sorry it was like the worst vlog ever because I am not fun when I'm sick. I mean, some might argue I'm not fun anytime, but. But anyway, I'm going to go and finish editing off this vlog so I can at least have something up on my channel. And I will see you guys next week for the contemporary -thon. And if I feel better, extra videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it kind of sucked. But I'll see you guys next week in a new one. Goodbye!